Greetings, and welcome to J-Bear Fire and Emergency Services Multimedia Training. Today's video, we're gonna talk about proper operations for your structural live fire trainer. But first, let's cover the safety inspection. Prior to conducting any operations on the live fire trainer, you have to conduct a thorough safety inspection. Let's show you how it's done. Begin the safety inspection by taking a look at the outside of the facility. Look for anything that's damaged or missing or any blatant safety problems. As you approach, start with the FDC. Make sure it works, its operation is proper, and that you can open and close it. Next, move to the doors, windows, and any entry or exits from the facility. Make sure they're unlocked and they properly open and close. If anything is found unsafe or out of service, halt all operations and up channel that to the battalion chief or the assistant chief of training. Continue your inspection on the back of the building where the propane enters the facility. Confirm all your pipes are secure, that all your T handles are off, and that we show a zero pressure reading on the input. Once again, confirm all windows and doors are open and that the burn room is clear. As you walk around, continue to check your emergency safety switches for operation and unlock the rest of the door. As you continue around, confirm that our power is on to the system and that we also have our evacuation fans turned on. Now that we've completed a thorough safety inspection, let's show you how to operate it. Operations begin on the outside of the facility at the propane tank. After unlocking the red cover, we slowly turn on the tank and confirm we hear flow. From here, we move to the back of the facility where the propane line comes up. We make sure we turn on the handles and confirm that we have pressure coming into the system. Next, we have to attach the dead man switch. It's attached underneath the emergency shutoff button outside the main door to the fire room floor. This has to be connected for the system to work. Hang the dead man switch on the hook outside the fire room door and confirm that all switches are off and have been reset. Inside the fire room, we have to confirm that the valves are closed and the fire pans are full of water. After that, we move to the main fire panel and insert the keys and turn them on. This will put the system into a self-check and start the purge of the fire room. Once the system begins to purge, you can hear the fan spin up and the system blink. This will purge the room for approximately three to seven minutes, confirming that all extra gas or possibility of built up gas is clear to the room. If the system is running for a long time, make sure to reset all switches on the panel. Once the system is purged, we can confirm the pilot lights are lit by checking the green indicators on the panel and confirming they're on inside the trailer. Now we need to test each effect independently. Hold down the switch on the dead man switch and activate each individual effect. Confirm they operate smoothly and properly within and that they shut off when the switch is released. 